Hey, Merrick here of Indie Traveler. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I pack for a trip to a tropical or a summer destination. Now, I really like packing for these kind of trips because uh, it lets you get away with packing in a very simple way. Obviously, in terms of clothing, uh, it's easier to pack. Actually, on this trip, I'm going to India, at least that is the intention. Uh, right now, I'm in Germany and I'm having a visa problem. Uh, but that's a story for another time. Uh, I'm stuck in this hotel for a little bit, waiting for my visa to go through, uh, and I thought, hey, this is a great moment to make a YouTube video. But if I do end up in India, I know that it's gonna be very hot. Um, uh, maybe I will go to the mountains here and there, but generally I think I'll be in tropical areas, so around 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, that means I don't need many clothes for uh, cold weather. Also, I'm fine carry-on because that saves a lot of money, especially now uh, when flights are very expensive. I found a return ticket to uh, Delhi for only 550 euros, but one of the uh, conditions of this is you can only use carry-on luggage and you only have eight kilos of uh, weight allowance. Now, for me, that's no problem. I like to pack carry-on, so let's take a closer look and I'll show you how I pack. Okay, here we go. So I have some sleepwear, which is just kind of a shirt and, a, and shorts. I have a bunch of different t-shirts and two long sleeves in this case. Normally I maybe take one long sleeve, but India being a bit more of a long sleevey kind of destination in terms of style, I thought I would do two long sleeves. Um, this is a pair of swimming trunks. Ah, some more t-shirts and two shorts. So it's not really that complicated. It's just a little stack of summer clothes. And in here, this is a peak design packing cube. In here I have my underwear and socks. Uh, I've used a lot of different packing cubes, by the way, and the peak design packing cubes I really, really like. They just have little features, like you can hang them up and there's zippers on different sides and there's a quick opening, kind of like zipper, and they expand a bit. It's really neat. So for the small stuff, I do use a packing cube. And I have an extra pair of shoes. Um, these are kind of canvas style shoes, I suppose. And I like canvas shoes because they pack up quite nicely. You can fold them up a bit, so to speak. They're not like boots that take up loads of space. We have flip-flops and my hat uh, over here on the side. And by the way, you can just use a plastic bag to store things. Like you don't need packing cubes for everything, right? Um, here we have a quick drying travel towel. Of course, hotels will have towels, but when you go to adventure travel destinations, sometimes they don't, or maybe staying in hostels where they don't have towels. So it's always nice to have. It doesn't take up much space. And uh, even if you go to the beach or something and you want to dry off, you can use this. And here is my laundry bag with the cool map pattern. It's very useful if you're lost, you can go check where you are. Very good, very good, useful for travelers. All right, I'll put links to this kind of stuff in the description, by the way, if you wanna buy this as well. I know that many people like this. By the way, the luggage that I use is the uh, Osprey 4.40. Now, of course, you could uh, decide to go with normal wheeled luggage. I go to adventure destinations or tropical destinations a lot, and I prefer to have a backpack because just more flexible and you can kind of, you know, jump in a tuk-tuk in Thailand and just easily be mobile. You can, you know, get on a boat uh, very easily, just wearing your backpack and jumping on the boat. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just nice to, to do it that way. At least I always travel with a backpack. Uh, the Osprey 4.40 I've chosen because it is particularly lightweight and that's important to me. Um, it weighs only about 1.5 kilos, I think. And that just gives you maybe like a half a kilo more of your luggage uh, weight allowance to play with. So choosing lightweight um, travel gear can help you uh, travel carry-on style uh, more easily as well. All right, moving on, let me show you what is in the front compartment here. Uh, on this trip, I decided to take an inflatable travel pillow with me. I expect to do many uh, long 
flights and bus journeys and this is kind of nice, uh, makes it more comfortable. I uh, don't always take it, but in this case I did. This is a Peak Design toiletries bag. It's clearly very messy and not ready for YouTube, but anyway, this is what I really pack. Um, of, of course, keep in mind to keep everything under 100 milliliters or else it won't go as carry-on. Um, you can use these kind of travel containers for uh, soaps or shampoos. Another solution for shampoo, if you're going on a longer trip, is to have a block of solid shampoo um, that will last you a long time and then you don't have to carry all these big bottles. And um, yeah, just keeping it simple. And I mean, this is moisturizer for instance and it is a very small container. Other than that, I have a tote bag here with some various, you know, uh, antibacterial gels and, and anti-mosquito stuff. Um, tote bag, always useful to have, by the way, in case you need to do some shopping or whatever on your trip. All right, and a little, and a little first aid kit, just has some basic stuff in there. And finally, I mean, I've got my sunglasses, some earplugs, and some other little things in here. Besides the main pack here, which goes in the overhead bin when you're flying, I also have my kind of personal item, which is a smaller uh, bag. Now, sometimes I have a, a small day pack with me. Uh, in this case, on this trip, I have a um, kind of a shoulder bag or a sling, actually, a big design sling backpack. And because I am a travel blogger, I fill that with gear. Uh, so that isn't necessarily what you should do if you're just going to travel for fun. But for me, it's important to have my camera with me and my lenses and so on. So let me grab that. So here I go. This fits under the seat in front of me and it has my Micro Four Thirds camera. I like the size of this. It lets you have interchangeable lenses, really good quality photos, but it isn't too chunky. Um, I've got various little accessories here, like one of those buffs. You know, you can use this as a scarf or anything. Um, and let's see what else is here. I actually don't remember. Oh yeah, there's some, some lens covers and, and some SD cards and some other little things. Uh, for my travel device, uh, in terms of like, electronics devices, I, I bring my phone, of course, but I also bring this. This is amazing. This is a, a, a Samsung Galaxy Tab Lite. And this is just kind of pocketbook size. I like that you can read from it if necessary. Um, it's not really an ebook reader, but you can read ebooks on it. Uh, it's good for travel research, having many tabs open, just better than your phone. Uh, you can watch YouTube or Netflix pretty decently on this as well. It only weighs 300 grams, which is <laughs> insane. And it only cost me 100 euros. So if this gets stolen or something, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, that's definitely better than like bringing a MacBook Air, for instance, which costs like 15 times as much at least and weighs a lot more. So I also like to keep it simple in terms of electronics now. And this thing, I just really, really like. Uh, and it's made me stop um, bringing like laptops with me on my trips. Uh, I don't really work on my trips. I do work at home. Like as a blogger, I kind of experience the destination and I make many notes and I, I take a lot of footage, but then I do the work at a desk at home because I find that this just works a lot better for me. Uh, if I were to take a laptop, I would bring my MacBook Air because it is uh, a pretty capable laptop, but not too heavy and uh, it's easy to uh, bring along and it's very portable. But yeah, now I'm just really into bringing just a simple uh, tablet a mini tablet. Uh, ah, besides the clothes that I showed you, of course, I'm wearing this now, a hoodie, always useful to have. Even in tropical destinations, uh, you might wanna have some warm clothes because of air conditioned spaces. And sometimes you're gonna go to the mountains where it is colder. So that's always a good idea. I'm also wearing some jeans. Uh, that's also for the same reason. And, you know, on the way to the destination at the airport, it's nice to wear some comfortable jeans. Uh, and I have a pair of hiking shoes. These guys, <laughs> these are Morel hiking shoes. I like 
to bring hiking shoes because I do a lot of hiking. And they're also just comfortable to uh, walk around town with. Uh, I find that these don't look too technical. They're just kind of neutral in style, which makes them kind of okay for walking around in the city with. Uh, so they're kind of dual purpose. That's just been a little view at how I pack. Uh, this has been totally unprepared. I'm actually leaving soon. I need to check out. Uh, if, um, if you have any other uh, packing tips you want to share, leave them in the comments. I'm curious how you pack for a tropical or a summer destination. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm currently uh, kind of rebooting my channel a bit and I'm going to start doing some vlogging as well. So uh, I'm going to branch out a little bit on the Indie Traveler channel. So now is a great time to subscribe. All right, catch you in another video.